something else kids love, sports. We have an email question. This is from Anna. My nine-year-old son recently started playing competitive sports and he loves it. However, I've noticed he's become really hard on himself. How can I help him deal with the pressure? So can I say one, one thing is I hate that we live in a society where a nine-year-old feels pressure playing sports. And even the term competitive sports at the age of nine, let me throw that out there, first of all. But the kids, if the kid's feeling pressure, you can't make that up. I have four sons that have all been involved in athletics, and I see this happen on every team that they've ever been on. And not even when it's a high-pressure competitive team. It's just you're playing with your peers, and you're trying as a group to accomplish Absolutely. something. So if you're the weak link or you perceive that you are the weak link in that moment, you can put a lot of pressure on yourself, as well as parents who are totally inappropriate on the sidelines, coaches who are taking it very seriously mm. and maybe losing sight. And that's the thing. It's losing sight of the why. Very few of us as adults sign our kids up for a team or a sport because we think they are going to win the full scholarship and become the most famous at that sport. We have lots of other great reasons for signing our kids up for teams. We have to remember why, and we have to get our kids to remember why did they want to do it in the first place. So when you sign your kid up for a sport, it's, you can do some prevention. Why do you want to do this? Let's just make a list so that on the days where you don't feel like going to practice or you have a big loss or it was a hard time, you can just go back to this list and remember what your why was. And that can make a really big difference for kids. But on the flip side, when you're trying to rescue them from feeling all that pressure, one of the things you can do is to ask them quietly, just the two of you, to evaluate other kids doing it. Maybe take them, like let's say it's a soccer game and they feel like, oh, you know, I was goalie and everything got past me. First of all, that may or may not actually be true, but take them to a soccer game of kids their age that they're not playing in and let them quietly evaluate how those other kids are doing to see that this is pretty normal. And to say, do you think that kid should feel terrible and quit the team like you were talking about doing? They always have more compassion for other kids. They're like, no, they shouldn't quit, they did fine. Right, so you did just as well or even better. And is it also an opportunity for kids to realize that sometimes when they're playing a sport, they may not be the best person, and that's okay as long as they're doing their best and having a good time to teach them to celebrate other people when they are more successful. Right. And that's one of the reasons that as adults, we try and get our kids involved. Yeah. We want them to see what it's like to be part of a team, to not always be you know, the star or right. feel like, oh, I don't belong, but to have that sense of belonging, to learn from other adults, right? You coach kids who weren't your own and they had to hear about well, that. And my technique was you gotta flush it. When you make a mistake, you make that error, you strike out, whatever, flush it, move on. The game's not over, and there's always the next game. Going back to when I was a kid, I was a late bloomer, and I remember I wanted to quit basketball so badly because I was the shortest kid on the team. I was not yet all that coordinated, and I'll be honest, my parents sat me down, and they listened to what I had to say, and they, they really just pushed me to continue, and I ended up you know, basketball became my sport, and I still play it to this day, despite how short the shorts were. But, <laughs> but I do feel like there can be a tendency, maybe more so nowadays, to, okay, I want, I want to quit. All right, you, you can quit. And I think that sports teaches kids a lot about resilience because, and I speak from experience, I was often the worst kid on the team. But then I developed athletic skills later, and it ended up being best part of my, my life as a kid was playing sports. Well, maybe to make you feel better, I, I tried out for the basketball team, but I was from a small place. And you know, they have the group of kids who really made the team, and then the other group. <laughs> like, I was in the other group. That they need so, to have a full team? That they need those to have kids? A, yeah. yeah Do you have like, any pictures? Um, yeah, no. <laughs> that is not a thing. There, there were no cameras. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. Right, right. That. There were no cameras. But you, you stuck it out. You kept playing. I played for a little bit. I, I, I did switch. I was a cheerleader. That worked out well. <laughs> that worked out well. I think to your point, there is, uh, there is like 10% of the time where we need to show our kids compassion and say, yes, you can stop doing this, but 90% of the time where we, we need to say, for this season, or for this year where you're taking this musical instrument or whatever it is, you're gonna stick with it because the reasons we wanted you to do it was not so that you would be the world's best at it, but for the other things you have to learn from it.